This is Beverly Lyons from the Daily Record here with Sandy Tom in her dressing room at King Tut's Wawa Hut. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Now, the reason I'm laughing is because we've both arrived with the same scarves. Um, where did you get yours? Oh, mine's is very expensive. <laughs> oh, mine's utterly expensive too. Uh, mine's came from Milan or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Paris, Milan, Tokyo, something like yeah, that. Cat catwalks. Cool, yeah. Not any high stores chains no. or anything like that. Nothing like no, that. No, no. Cool. And I like your boots as well. Just uh, we'll just get the fashion out of the way. Obviously, red boots as opposed to. Well, you the know. best bit about them is they have this chain that goes around the, the bottom. So what's the deal? You just picked these up because they thought you thought it would make you look eccentric. Well, I just went into this crazy vintage place and I was just window shopping, and I saw these boots and they were forty quid, and I just thought, well. Whether I wear them or just keep them on a shelf, I have to own them. And now you are the proud owner of the boots. But that's not what we're here to talk about. No. We're here to talk about you and your music and your life and your loves. Something like that. Yeah. So tell us what's been happening in Sandy Tom's life at the moment. In my life at the moment. Well, I'm on tour. Um, I'm over halfway through the tour. It's probably... It's, it's one of them jam-packed. We're doing 26 dates in about four and a half, five weeks, so... There's not much time off. We've got like six consecutive shows now, so it's quite hardcore. But um, but it's been a really good laugh, and it's all about showcasing the new album. Mm-hmm. Um, so and it's also very intimate and very stripped back and very unlike how, how I've been gigging in the last year. So it's been a great opportunity for me to just kind of get right back down to my roots, if you like. Now it's a kind of one woman show sort of thing that you do for the first four songs of your set. Yeah. How many instruments do you play? Well, at the at the craziest point, I play um, I play bass drum, tambourine, cymbals, guitar, harmon and harmonica at the same time. Wow! So you, you're saying it's quite a tiring tour. How are you managing to keep the stamina up? Well, me and the boys were we started off kind of trying to do running and you know just keeping it all very healthy, but that kind of quickly almost always goes out the window just because you always end up knackered somewhere in a hotel and the last thing you want to do is get up and run in the rain but I mean we're, we're quite good we eat quite healthy and stuff so you know just the general stuff loads of vitamins heaps and heaps of supplements and things so uber food yeah I wanted to actually chin you Sandy because you recently wrote in one of your blogs that you're getting a bit obsessed about your weight what's that all about? It's just everybody, oh, I mean, I think we all are at some point. I think I've just, we, me and my mates call it body dysmorphia, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, you think you're one thing and you're not, which obviously can be a very serious issue for a lot of people, but I think, you know, I've just, I don't know, I think sometimes, I was probably just feeling a little bit bloated or something, I don't know. Time of the month. We all, we all get that sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure it was that. I was probably crying and all sorts of things and, I'm so fat. But yeah, it probably just was the time of the month. Okay, because you're a perfect size, don't change. Okay. <laughs> now, I know that uh, you've been having quite a stressful time at home, though, at the moment. What's been happening there with your uh, house and things? Yeah, well, buying a house, I've just r- discovered how um, incredibly annoying it can be because uh, it was all sort of set up and it was all there. We were finally going to you know, own an actual house. This is quite a big thing for me, you know, being, like, in my 20s and stuff. As opposed to the basement in Tooting. Well, yeah, as opposed to the basement in Tooting, which is kind of... which will eventually grind me down and I will <laughs> want to leave. Um, and it turns out there's a landfill site next to our house and, and in the land that we don't... It's not even on the, the, ha- the land that the house is on and it's owned by a load of travellers and I can't... We can't get a hold of these people to get the, the land tested. So until they test the land to find out if there's any little green men in there, um, we can't buy the house. Is that your biggest extravagance so far to date, a new house? Yeah, well, I haven't, we haven't bought it yet, but um, it would be if if we actually did, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think that's we and your man. Me and my, yeah, me and Jake. Yes. Yeah. Right, the house, does that precede something? I'm putting you on the spot here. Does that precede something else? Little ring on the finger? No, everybody's... The funny thing is, is my drummer just got engaged as well, and he got engaged to one of my best friends, and it's all, like, the pressure is on, you know? People, all of our mates that are left who haven't, like, proposed are going, right, you're next. It's your turn next. So, um, no, I, I got... 
I got this hint dropped on me that apparently it was going to be sometime this year, but it will be when I least expect it. So. Were you not tempted to do it on February the 29th? I, well, I, I think I was, but I don't. I honestly don't think that he would take me seriously. So you resisted getting on the knees and doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. just came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, have you had any bizarre incidents happen to you on tour of late? Um, well, I've actually been filming this whole experience. I have like these video cameras and discs full of loads of strange stuff. So, I'm gonna put a little a little documentary together and. I'm sure that'll become available for her. so you know all this all this stuff that happens on this tour will be available to see and watch. Cool. Now to touch on uh, on the new album, the Pink and the Lily, I believe for the launch you're taking over a pub. Yeah, we are. We're taking over a pub and renaming it for one night. So we're getting like big new signs put up over the door and stuff. So it's going to be very cool. Uh, any party tricks you'd like to show off, Sandy? Because I know that uh, I've witnessed some before. I'm sure. Well. um... I do have one, but it would it would entail me being upside down on my head. So I don't is, know if you can get that on film. Is that is that a possibility just now, or well, perhaps it's not good before you go on stage? I can stick everything to my forehead. Wow! Magnetic Sandy Tom. There you have it. Thank you very much, Sandy Tom. Thank you. <laughs>